Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Hmm. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. You know, even though what he did was so shitty, I can tell he definitely regrets his action. Bro, that's crazy, though. That is crazy. And it's like, Baron, why would you do that? That's so disgusting. Like, there's no reason to put your hands on anyone, honestly. But I can tell, I can tell he regrets his actions. I really do. I mean, look what he just said. He basically, he basically memorized his daughter and wife's favorite flowers, which shows that he cares. But granted, that still doesn't excuse his action, however. Your loss, it must hurt bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. Exactly. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Yo, I remember my mom told me when she first got with my dad, he tried to hit her while drunk, and she shattered a glass near his face. On the wall, and he never tried again. You know what? Mad respect for that. Mad respect for that. Honestly... Abuse of any kind is never unacceptable. I do pity Anna, though. She didn't deserve to get beat like that. And Tamara, the daughter. I know the daughter hates the dad. I mean, a couple episodes back, Trisha, I was in Tamara's room, and I found some sort of a poem. But the more I think about it, the more I realize it could have been a spell. Because basically... Uh, the poem just simply talks about how she wants to harm her dad and she wishes that he's dead and this and that, you know? I mean, this is a very complicated and sad situation. And I feel sorry for all three of them, honestly. I mean, I don't condone his actions and I'm actually very disappointed in him. She probably resents him so much from what she's been exposed to. Yes, I agree. I remember at the beginning of this mission when I first talked to the man. Baron said that he never once laid a hand on his daughter, but he always had fights with Anna because Anna knows how to get under his skin. Which, it's not an excuse, but nonetheless, I can tell she has a lot of resentment and trauma because of seeing them in that predicament. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Oh yeah, I did. A lot. Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I can't blame I her. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. Okay. Okay, just for you, Baron, I'll definitely double check, because you made a point. That much I can do. Only I'm that. Grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Mm. Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? 
for you to tell me about Siri like we agreed. Yeah, Baron. My end of the Fine. deal. A word once given. Thank you. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Uh, damn, he just wants to hear it from her. Yo, these games storyline are better than daytime TV. To <laughs> hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Siri, come! I'll haunt should be yours as I see it. So, Grald is actually oh, trying to find no Siri, rats. and that white haired Not woman is Siri. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Care Morhen. Witcher school there, are you? Mm -hmm. but they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times, I get this pinching back here. So I'm not a doctor, me. sir. Nobody Bye. Nobody cares about your backside. Damn. A woman could swing a sword. I've known one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. A oh, what? Tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? You're challenging me, sure. <laughs> why not? What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What you mean? What happened? You get the jitters? Look at Baron, silent no. but watching. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. Ooh. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. Suri, you're actually oh, challenging him? Side to be old. Would it ever? Could you try again? Done. But if I win... I take your sword. Agreed. Damn. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. But yeah, Trish, you're right. This this game has so much tea than a daytime story. She's in Fortnite too. Yeah, she is. Honestly, Trisha, if you ever do go game shopping, I would definitely recommend The Witcher 3 because the side quests, in my opinion, are way more crazier than the main mission. The day dawns. Ready? I'm about to the race tower. the Baron. First one to the tower. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Woohoo! No, you ain't you ain't getting my sword, Baron. Come on. Come on. Is the Witcher 3 on PlayStation 4 or only 5? It's actually on the PlayStation 4. So you should be able to get it. In fact, it should be on sale since it's been around for a long time now. Okay, cool. No, it's not, Baron. Did I just win? You're wind, not woman. Yes, I just won. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Yay! Thank you. What? Uh oh, who's coming? Another chance to win. What? A griffin? I'll probably look for more games around the holiday break when I have time to play. Yes. And also, let me see. Hold on. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. 
Every man ran to save his skin, even were it to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Wow. On it. Okay. And making piss poor progress. They Baron. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna too. Anyways. Um, I'll probably look for new games around the holiday break when I have time to play. I suggest looking on GameStop. Because usually around the holidays, they have some really great sales. I remember two years ago, I managed to get like four or five different games for like 75 bucks. So I would definitely double check with GameStop. They usually have really great end of the year, uh, sorry, end of the year sales anyways. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. Damn, Baron, it doesn't hurt to know some gossip, especially since you're looking for your kid and wife. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remain wandered north. Others, deserters, or merely broken men joined us. He's so aggressive. Yeah, that's his nature. Rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home. With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed Baron will cease. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Oh my. Fuck death. Fuck death. I live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Tamaria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. So long. This man said fuck death. He is, but then again, I don't, I don't really think he actually cares about his life anymore. He's very, Philip Stringer, your supply problems do not interest me. Well, interest us. The pact we signed was clear and the Emperor of Nifgard demands you fulfill its terms. If you do not... Our mutual obligations will be rendered null and void, and your privileges will be revoked. Okay. Alright, so good news is Tamara is safe. But bad news is we still don't know what happened to the wife. I really hope Anna's okay. It would be so sad if somehow... She died, you know? Wait, Witcher! When you yes. find my daughter, will you give her this? <gasps> her doll? Ragdoll. Uh -huh. Look at you being sentimental, Baron. You see, Baron really did care about his daughter. Like, I can tell she was the apple of his eye. Ugh. Can we talk about the suns right here? Beautiful, beautiful gameplay. Like, for a game that came out like a good five plus years ago, the graphics are still mwah, chef's kiss, you know? Okay, hold on.
Let me get my horse. There you go, Roach. Yes, his horse's name is Roach. Don't ask me why. It's a funny name, though, I gotta admit. You, white one. Think you're too but don't object to your white mouth. Look at all these guards talking all that shit. <laughs> like, bro, I'm helping your leader. So put some respect on my name. Okay, so finally I found the travel post. So we're gonna go all the way. We're gonna go all the way over here. As far close as I can. Oh, look at that. Look at these guys hanging around. Yeah, this game is set during the war, so expect to see a lot of dead bodies hanging around. It's not a really pleasant sight to see, you know. Come on. Roach, come on. You can jump, my boy. Don't be Move too it. scared. Come on. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to deal with any demons. Let me be, okay? I, I just want to travel, and that's it. Come on. Oh, this is bad. There you go. Finally, a road for me to get to. This way. Okay. Yep, we're almost there. Can I go through here? Thank you. Come on. Get up. Come on. Nope. Move it. Come on, Roach. I have no time for this. Just. Hurry up, my boy, please. Finally. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Great. I guess I'm gonna have to swim my way through, right? Faster. Alright, I'll swim. There you go. Finally. I'm over here. Can't believe I had to swim my way over to meet this woman. And watch how my horse appears. Look at that. Funny. Hilarious. I guess the water was too deep for my horse, so... Come on. You know what? I'm just gonna walk. Magic ass horse. Yep, you know what, Trish? Maybe you don't need a carb. All you need is a magic horse. See if you're able to find one. That should be way better than having a car, you know? Bro, yes. Yeah, I want a magic horse too, honestly. I feel like I could definitely save a lot of money with... Why is everyone screaming? Okay, but why is everyone screaming? Oh no, this is bad. Okay. Alright, are we done? That's why everyone's screaming. Okay. I don't know why he wanted to attack me, but... I love how everyone else just suddenly mind their business. Hilarious. Okay, excuse me. How am I supposed to get in? Hold on. How am I supposed to get in? Screams, then proceeds with day to day life. Yeah, you can tell these are Waterbury people. If Warbury was in the medieval times, this would be it. 
Do I need to access, sir? Hey! Okay, hi. Is this it? No. Oh, maybe I have to go in here. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitag sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Okay. Sure. Awesome. <gasps> Hi, kitty. You're so cute. Hi, Gatita. What a cute little kitty cat. You're so adorable. Yes, you are. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you. So you're Tamara. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've oh, seen wow. me, I bid you farewell. Oh, wow. We have nothing more to talk about. Stop, Tamara. Let me speak, woman. I know you've been through a whole ordeal. Saw your mom get beaten like a rag doll. But please, just give me two cents of your time. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. I saw that Why poem did you too. Have him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. She's older I than I was expecting, to be honest. Got it. Mm. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Yeah, you're right, Trish. She does look older than she is, but then again, trauma does age you a lot, so I'm not even surprised. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Yes, Tamara. It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Low-key, she looks like Helen like Bohem Cotter. I was glad every time they sent okay. him off. And the You're funny. Months, I remember him screaming at Mum, the thuds as he beat her, then <gasps> sobbing. Aww. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. Mm -mm. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. 19? Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. You're 19? He crossed the line and we fled. You're a 19 woman. Damn, you, you. Mm, I'm so sorry. Voitek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And really? Then that creature leapt from the woods. I... I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce. My nose. Now fell. that stress fucked I her up because. Trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that. That thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Woo! Listen, if you want me to go search for your mom, I could do it. Because I'm curious to see if she's even alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? Mm. He shoved her. She fell. That's how it started. I knew it. I called it. No one to help. Blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry. I knew it. Must have been hard for you both. Mom was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way that she never wanted the child oh must have had a fever she was losing blood the whole time she didn't want the child said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seat damn and now look what happened to dia a fetus demon oh i feel bad for that kid bro she was never wanted to begin with oh what will you do now find my mum you realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. 
I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Yes. Oh, him. Your dad? I don't care. Mm. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life. Forgotten it already. Forgotten already. I knew she doesn't want to see the dad. I called it. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? Them? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. Well, well. <laughs> A witcher. Sounds culty. Yeah, it is. Stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Why you think I'm here? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings Not bell. really. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Yeah, she's grown enough. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. You know, I really don't appreciate your condescending tone, but it's whatever. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Yeah. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long. And good luck. Hi, kitty! You're so cute! Wow. Crazy. Wait, Lou! Ooh, they're not gonna... I just realized something. Let me see. What can I take from here? Because I have a good feeling they're not going to care. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? There's nothing here. I'm good. Oh, my goodness. So, yep. Yeah, I'm not even surprised that the daughter does not want anything to do with the dad. And as far as the mom is concerned, question still stands as if whether or not she's even alive. But you know what? Since the body has not been recovered, I'm going to assume she's still alive. Because if they want me to, I can try and find her myself, you know? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.